the unfortunately true list of things told to me by teachers and ex-boyfriends one. Why does it always seem like you're the only one who gets it? Two, why can't they all be like you? I'm sure more people would have had kids if they thought they could turn out like you. Three, I have to ask you something and I hope you're not too offended by it, by it but how did someone like you end up in the remedial English class? Four, that's cute. You'll understand when you're older. Five, you can't sing. Six, <laughs> that was almost a really good story. You always ruin things by spoiling the ending. Never try to do comedy, you're not funny. Seven, you can't wear stuff like that, honey. All the boys will look at you. Eight, I love you, but sometimes I want to strangle you. It feels like you're both brilliant and lazy. It kills me to see you squandering all that potential. Nine, perhaps you set the bar too high for yourself. Earlier this year, I had very high hopes for you, but this is incredibly disappointing. 10, you wouldn't want me to call your parents about this, would you? 11, you can't be upset about that. When boys push you around and call you names and tease you, it only means they like you. 12, I'm getting tired of all the excuses. I gotta say, I'm questioning your level of commitment here. 13. Maybe you need to cut back on your extracurricular activities. This is more important. 14. This is not a democracy. You follow my rules or you face the consequences. 15. When my ninth grade Algebra 2 teacher told me I hadn't passed with a high enough grade to get into calculus, it was nearly verbatim what my boyfriend said the first time I tried to leave him. I'm sorry if you're mad at me for holding you back, but I'm sure we can agree it's for the best. You really haven't been doing very well lately, and I just don't think you're strong enough to move on.